Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. I hope you don't mind a little bit of uh, high fives playing in the background. We love the high fives in our house. Uh, I wanted to go over the latest update that is coming in approximately nine days. 4.7, the high seas. For the full upgrade notes or details, uh, please go to the Nexon forums, forums.nexonm.com slash forum. Uh, you can click through from there, and it is actually found under News and Announcements. So, uh, I guess the reason I wanted to put a video is to do the highlights, not just for what is actually new and upcoming, uh, but what I feel is the most important thing as far as this update. There's a lot of bug fixes, so I think Nexon is actually listening a, a little bit better as to what needs to be focused on in order to keep the players with tenure uh, happy and satisfied and continuing on, uh, which is obviously going to be a benefit to them once they release the Atomic Age, but we're not there yet. 4.7, the high seas. Uh, so, without further ado, let's go through a few of these. Uh, the biggest one that I think will actually play a large role is the over 100% displaying in World War. Now, they've worded this kind of funny in there. It literally says, fixed World War report damage percentage displaying over 100%. That doesn't mean that it actually is going to be fixed in the back end, but I am hopeful that this will eliminate some of the uh, stalemate activity. I'm hoping that they're going to amend this to actually say you can no longer stalemate in war. There will be a definitive winner and a loser. I think that will be helpful. Um, what else is there? As far as the bug fixes, it looks like there's a lot of smaller stuff. Obviously, the trade goods from World War has been fixed. Um, what else? Uh, they're adding a little button on top of your bunker to actually indicate when it needs to be refilled with oil, which is only helpful if you're in the industrial or uh, global age. But still, that is, is somewhat helpful rather than having to go and check it every single time you log in. But you should know if you were attacked and somebody got five stars, you're going to have to refill that bunker. Uh, replay accuracy has been improved upon, so I'm excited to see that as well because it's very confusing to see three or four different replays for the same attack. Um, now, they've also done some back, uh, which is the commando troop space uh, has been reduced to 10, it was 15. Let's see. Anyhow, so, and there's also library research that will actually reduce that down by another two. Um, now, as far as new buildings and upgrades, the new building, which is the Sniper Tower, um, I think this is a very large one, <laughs> and it will play a, a very significant role on the gameplay, simply on the basis that it will affect your drop point and how people actually play the game. Uh, the reason I say that is because it is... Where are we looking here? The sniper towers, they fire at the furthest target in range. Uh, but it does have a blind spot on close range. Now, I'm not sure if that's a blind spot as the mortar towers. Mortar towers, as you probably well know, do have a blind spot closer up to them, but it's, you're not going to find a whole lot of troops that actually get that close. Uh, they do high damage, one kill against infantry, and slow rate of fire. Uh, they are going to be available only in the industrial age, so I think that's going to kind of further that gap between enlightened and industrial, and therefore almost forcing people to go to the industrial age. Uh, and I'm not sure if that's necessarily a good thing. You already have the difference, and it's a very significant difference between enlightened and industrial in planes. I know for a fact that I can go on an enlightened age base with my three planes and use no tactics and get all the way through. Um, luxurious estate, so that's obviously something that you can go ahead and purchase. Uh, let's see. Uh, new upgrades for the library. Library. That's not my library, that's my university. That's not my library either. There's my library. 
So obviously that can go to eight in the global age, but they're going to make that go to nine. Uh, so yeah, and the extra vehicle, the armored car. If you were during, around during the event for the armored car, it's a raiding vehicle. Um, bonus bonus uh, damage against the uh, resource buildings. I think it will only be available in a level five factory. Um, so that's going to mean the global age. Short of that, I am excited. Give it nine days here and we'll see how the metrics actually change. I'm hoping that the uh, stacking alliances that actually exist uh, will hopefully uh, stop stacking. We're against some stackers here uh, in this war. If not, we'll have to persevere and just simply wait it out. But at least it's eliminating excuses as to why it is being done. Um, I will leave a link down below, down below for the actual High Seas Update notes, uh, compliments of MB4 Power Up uh, on the forums. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below as to which update you feel is the most important or even bug fix. Uh, comment, subscribe, like. Keep your sticks on the ice. Have a good time. And the awkward finding of the stock recording button.